Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be doing a review on the Hot Toys uh, Spider-Man Homecoming figure. This is actually the deluxe edition. And uh, I, I got this figure from uh, straight, directly, directly from Hong Kong from a seller on eBay called uh, Timson. And if you want to um, get your Hot Toys early and stuff like that, or just from a, an actual reliable so no pre-orders and nothing like that, I'll put in a link in the description below where to go. So yeah, uh, enough of that. Let's actually take a look, a uh, closer look at this figure. As you can see, the suit on this is absolutely fucking amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite Spider-Man figures I've actually ever owned at all. You can see you got the, like the uh, black leather bits there, and uh, the logo on this is actually plastic as well. Uh, the blue bits um, are actually like the same material as the Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure. The red bits are actually similar. Uh, Kind of similar to Black Panthers, but uh, but it's not exactly the same. If that makes sense, um, these are actually like sculpted on there, as you, as you can see there. And uh, his lenses, uh, I'll show you the accessories soon. They're actually all magnets, so you can just take them off quite easily. Uh, you have uh, different web shooters as well, which I'll go in uh, go on to in a bit. And on the back is the same as I love that <laughs> that uh, red logo there. It kind of reminds me of the classic amazing uh, logo. A lot of people are worried about posing this figure because uh, it might crease up the suit. But if you actually uh, get some uh, kettle steam, it actually put the suit back into place. So I'm just gonna go over my little gripe about this figure right now. It's it's I've seen it on every Spider-Man Hot Toy, which I which is quite annoying. But I'll show you this right now. As you can see here, it's just like at the top of the forehead, it's like the seam is really, really like shitly done. But not every hot toy is perfect, to be honest. But it's it's not a massive gripe, it's just a minor. But that's about the only thing that's a gripe about this. So, yeah, I'll show you the artwork on this box as well. As you can see here, it's Hot Toys Spider Man Homecoming uh, Deluxe Edition. See here. It's awesome, I love this part. The artwork on this uh, deluxe edition is really uh, awesome. I like it compared to uh, what's it called? The standard edition. Obviously, you got your bars there. Uh, if you want to pause that, you can read that there. It kind of, this, uh, the back of this box kind of reminds me of the uh, Civil War post credit scene with the Spider Man logo. You can't actually know what actually what's the use of this logo in Spider-Man Homecoming or at all, so that's kind of disappointing because you actually get the logo with this figure as well. So yeah, I'll show you the, the artist who was involved on this uh, figure. If I can even get this open. Yeah, one minute. Yeah, as you can see the things there, that logo. Don't know what to use it for, but as you can see the people involved, Howard Chang, JC Hong. All the others, uh, mostly JC Hong is actually involved. I follow him on Instagram. He's a very, very talented artist if you if you actually follow him at all. Uh, this is the accessories that I'll go over in a minute. But yeah, the artwork on the box is awesome. I love Hot Toys art, the artwork on the boxes. <laughs> okay, <now. laughs> I'm just really like, fascinated how awesome this figure is. So yeah, I'll go in on the accessories now. And for accessory wise, he comes with uh, web wings, a few sets of eyes. My favorite ones are, as you can see, are the Insta eyes. And because it's the deluxe edition, you get a vulture helmet, uh, the science clothes, backpack, and that book. And it comes with some headphones as well. Just a flat mask. Um, I didn't even know, uh, as you can see here, uh, the Insta eyes would be in this. That's a pretty cool uh, touch. Oh yeah, you got this these webs, webs things here. You got standard whip pans. You got long webs, and you got the grip webs. Also, this is like a thing that like goes onto the wall. And there's like a web thing with well, whip, and it attaches onto one of these. And also, he's got um, two pairs of web shooters. As you can, it's like I'm gonna explain why he has two. If you can see here, um, this one doesn't have a hole in. And uh, let me just get my uh, my actually Spider-Man figure. Um, one minute. Uh, 
as you can see there, there's a quite a big hole because these webs attach into the web shooters which is actually a pretty cool touch if you ask me but yeah I'm very glad I actually purchased uh, this deluxe edition well, yeah, extra pegs as well and I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, take the eyes off and stuff like that as well so let's get into that and also I'll be showing how the web wings are used so as you can see, uh, I took the web, I took the eyes out, and I just put the web wings on. I'm just going to show you how easy it is. Like as you can see here, these little black bits here are magnets, and there's magnets on his body, and it is weird to get on. If you ask me, I don't know if it's yeah. As you can see, it's right there. Um, because I haven't got long nails, as you can uh, as you can see, it's quite difficult for me to take the eyes off but it's really easy to put the eyes back on. So I'll put the insta-kill eyes on. Yeah, as you can see there. That is awesome. I can see the wing just fell off there. It's just you just gotta get it in the right position if you ask me, but this is a pretty cool figure for what the accessories gone. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that uh it doesn't have a ball joint in this, it's just a standard helmet, no LEDs or anything like that, nothing special. So I'm gonna go over the articulation wise right now. So let's get into that. And for articulation wise his arm bent goes out that much oh he has racket joints as well he has a double jointed elbow uh hand swivel obviously he can uh look up that high so if you do like a diving pose it's pretty good he looks down that much uh he has an ab crunch his uh, legs can go out to the side that far his legs can go forward that far he has a double jointed knee uh, ankle pivot and some toe articulation. <laughs> this figure is fucking awesome, man. I love it. It's definitely awesome in my uh, Civil War display. So now I'm going to go into some size comparisons. And here he is next to Black Panther holding his hand, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And he looks like he just comes just above his eye a little bit, if you ask me. Uh, Pretty cool size comparison. I love Black Panther and Civil War, as well as Spider Man. So yeah, on to the next size comparison. And here is a homecoming suit, a homemade suit next to the tech suit. And it looks like from this camera that uh, the tech suit is actually taller than the homemade suit. I think it's something to do because of the boots that uh, Peter wears, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, that's it for the size comparisons. So yeah, that's it for my tech suit review, guys. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, uh, and stay uh, c watch the end of this video because I'm going to put some photos at the end. So yeah, thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Peace.